Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about how to find uh, Oregon inmate, uh, jail inmate, and prison inmate uh, information. Uh, to get started, go to OregonPublicRecords.org. I will have a link in the description you can click on, or you can just type this into your browser. On the home page, you will notice there's quite a few public database resources available. Uh, depending on what type of research you're doing, you might be able to find some of these useful. Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on uh, locating prison and jail information. So we have created special pages for the most sought after records. So on top here, you'll notice uh, you have background checks, criminal records, court records. And if you hover over other records, you'll notice you have an option for inmate search here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Uh, one of the first options you'll have uh, is going to be a statewide database. Now, this would be a uh, the Department of Corrections, Oregon Department of Corrections database. So these would be prison records. And then we also covered the most populous counties, and these would be jail records. So the difference between uh, jail arrests uh, would be uh, somebody can get arrested and released sometimes the same day next day um, but typically people staying in jail are spending less than 12 months uh, people that are serving a sentence of over a year typically will do it at the department of corrections so uh, in the prison and they're both both of these institutions are managed by uh, different uh, management so like a local jail is going to be typically managed by the sheriff's department and the state prison system is managed by the department of corrections so you have two different databases. Uh, so when you are looking for like arrest information and inmate information, consider the fact that you do have uh, two different databases that you're looking at, which is the Department of Corrections and then your local uh, Sheriff's Department jail. So uh, keep that in mind. Another thing to uh, you can do to enhance your research is you can also, anytime somebody gets arrested, <clears throat> you um, they will eventually have to see a judge and so if you wanted to look even deeper into a maybe a particular situation I'm gonna uh, go ahead and uh, click on court records here we have a page for court records and uh, what you can do is you can actually go and look up a, like a particular case a particular name maybe in the within the court system so you're able to use um, uh, the court system as you can see you have multiple courts anything from the Supreme Court to the tax court and each of these courts will do uh, will have a diff will work with different types of cases so like the circuit court will do uh, heavy things like felonies for instance and then of course uh, the lesser level crimes as well and then uh, the justice court will do lesser level crimes and traffic and then the municipal uh, which is like a local city court will do uh, lesser level crimes and then traffic uh, small maybe city tickets things like that so uh, just depending on uh, how severe the situation is uh, different courts will uh, will uh, settle uh, the or uh, deal with the individual so uh, you have quite a few options uh, when it comes to uh, doing research about inmates uh, jail records prison records both at the state level and at the county level another thing to consider if you are doing criminal related information search is to use the name search on top now what this does it doesn't just look at Oregon it goes outside of the state so it gives you multiple state multiple databases combined into one so why is this uh, something to consider well it's it saves you time you can go do research in multiple states um, you know one database at a time where you can just pretty much do it all instantaneously uh, another thing why uh, you might consider doing having a more nationwide look at an individual is because people do move around and let's say they're living in Oregon now but they uh, have lived let's say in uh, Texas or Arizona in the past and they had a criminal uh, criminal record there and maybe this is information that you need to know um, it's a great way to uh, find out uh, previous addresses and, and things like that so you have your county tools you have your state tools and then you have your private tool that you can utilize so uh, with that said come on down to Oregon publicrecords.org and get started on your Oregon inmate search. Thank you.